and it's actually a clue that the snooper has a secret they're trying to justify. <laughs> DG. If you're watching for the first time, you're welcome into this online family. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you've been inspired from what you hear today. It's all about living in peace, which is one of the five sections of my channel. Do check out the other sections and the first part of this topic at the end of this video. I'll be talking about the second part of the video I started last week on calls and conversations. Have you ever thought about this? I'm sure you must have. Nowadays, people don't have any privacy with their phone calls anymore. Whether they're in a public bathroom or on a train, they just blast information as if they are a radio station. I'm sure you've had instances where this was an issue for you, like it was for me. What went through your mind in these situations? Let's just jump right into the questions, all right? So um, the first one, in what situation should you not say, I'll call you back? You've thought about this before, I know you have, or maybe you've said it before. Is that why you're gonna call me back? Like really? There are flimsy excuses and then there are flimsy excuses. Please let me call you back. I have to go and say hello to my childhood friends, sisters, uncle who just got back from Dubai. Really? Or I have to go and clean my kitchen fridge because I have guests coming over soon. What? Or maybe you're this type. My kids are calling the cops. Let me call you back. Just say, please give me a minute. Or you know what? My time is up for now. We'll talk again another time. No excuses. Just go straight to the point. Unless you really don't want to talk to the other person, then don't pick up your phone or cut the call short. Chicken, huh? Number seven. <laughs> What can't you talk about on the phone? Anything and everything goes, right? You have the freedom. Hmm. No, wait. There are some things you shouldn't talk about on the phone. Yes, there are. To me, anyway, you might think my reasons don't qualify for you. Uncle Sam hears everything and knows everything. So don't talk about politics and anything that has to do with politicians. You never know who's listening to you, especially in other countries where there isn't a law and order. You know, how would you know you're in such countries? Exactly. Better not to find out. Also, if you're the type that keeps secrets, good luck to you. When you're talking on the phone um, or you don't know who's listening when you're talking to the other party. So don't talk about secrets on the phone. You've seen it in movies too. Relationships can end because of spilled secrets over the speaker phone. Okay. Number eight. Can't they hear you on the other side of the world? Sometimes we don't know how loud we can be on the phone. What should be private is blasted all over the phone in public. What should be said face to face is texted with levity. And with that said, it says a lot about the type of person you are. If this is in the privacy of your house, your apartment or in your room, then who cares? But because people are on their phones in public now and because I'm the public advocate license holder we have to teach you guys i've noticed call volume has increased in the recent years i mean eavesdropping is not a thing anymore you are sitting in a bus on on a train you will hear news that has been broadcasted on tv the friend that got fired the jolly brother that got jailed or the best one the best one i've heard is if that was me i would have done this that and the other thing I'm trying to mind my business. Number nine, how far can you go regarding your spouse's phone? Let me slip this one in this video. Personally, this is a hot topic and I think I'll talk about it more in another video. So look forward to that. However, it is important to refrain from invading your spouse's privacy in the form of checking his or his or her phone for dishonest relationship clues. As we all know, trust is very important in a relationship or marriage or friendship and snooping in another person's phone shows immaturity, distrust and irresponsibility and is actually a clue that the snooper has a secret they're trying to justify. All right, I'll stop there on that one. Number 10. Should you hijack phone calls while talking to somebody? So, of course, we have to talk about the phone hijackers. You know who you are. These are the people you try to get off the phone with, but they are always coming up with another topic to talk about 
just as you're about to say, hmm, we'll talk later, or even when you're about to end the call and another topic comes on and you realize that at the end of the day, you spent about two or more hours on the phone while ignoring other people's calls. Don't be like that, you guys, all right? You can always tell when the other person you're on the phone with is ready to end the call and all you just have to say is don't let me keep you god willing we'll talk another time that's all no need to get offended or get upset okay if you're part of the population that talks very loud on the phone however much the percentage is please don't be cross with me all right just learn some new tips this is what everyone around you is thinking and if you're taking public transportation because you don't have a car of your own yet then I pray your car will come very soon. Then you can have all your private com private phone calls as it should be. We have somehow crossed the line of private and public ever since Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and all that came into existence. The generation after us is in big trouble with this observation. We make the dark world's job easier when all our information is in the open. It's like telling them, here I am, come and get me. You know, their job is easily done when we give them what they want. Keep your private life private. Let us remember to keep our calls and conversations to ourselves, please. All right? We don't want unsolicit unsolicited information from your private news channel. Okay? The next time you're faced with making a decision to pick up that call on a public bus or gossip about your coworker or pretend you're in a bluetooth enabled car and put the lives of everyone in danger i hope you'll think twice about that know your surroundings okay think about the information you're giving out and also note the volume and tone of your voice in public technical support says when your phone is about to die that's when its radiation is at the highest peak so talk on the phone using your left ear instead there's something about that i don't know all I've said is mostly talking about myself as well. And if you've learned anything today, then I'm glad you made it to this part of the video. This is how I know we are going to be very good friends. And this is where I welcome you to my channel again, I think. My name is Lara DG, and you're most specially welcome to this YouTube corner. I hope you learned something new today. Anyway, that's all for now. Ask questions, leave a comment, and like this video by giving it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And to get notified of new uploads so that you don't miss a beat from yours truly, go ahead and click that red button now and subscribe. Do check out my suggested videos in the description box below. I'm hoping to read from you very soon. Don't forget to love your neighbor as yourself like I always say. And remember, to rest in peace, we all need to be living in peace. Stay blessed. Peace.